How's it going guys? Welcome to a whole new video on my channel. Today's video is going to be all about photo... You know what? Let's do something. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you guys at the park because I'm trying to get some fresh air. So today's video is going to be all about Photoshop and specifically how to remove people from your pictures. So let's say you take an image and then you're very happy with it and then you look at the background and then there's just random people or random things that you want to remove and then you think to yourself how do I do that without ruining the picture so today I'm gonna to actually show you three different methods first one's gonna be easy second one's gonna be medium-ish and then the third one's gonna be really hard I'm going to be using old images that I have from my past shoots and I'm going to show you exactly how to do every single one of these methods. So the easiest method we're going to start with is content aware fill, which is the easiest method you can do because all you have to do is draw a circle around your object or around your person, the person in the background, and then you just click two buttons and then it does it automatically for you. So that's the easiest method. So let's start this one right now. Okay, so let's jump right into Photoshop. So in this picture, I have a hand of a cameraman, actually it's Con's hand, and I decided to remove this hand from the image. So what we're actually gonna be doing is using the laser tool, just go around and create a circle around whatever you wanna remove. And then as soon as you do that, you go and edit, you go and click on content aware fill, which brings you up to this menu. And then you can zoom in just to check and it automatically actually just cleans it up for you. Like you see how easy it is. That's why I keep telling you guys that this is the easiest method. So as you can see, it's all clean already. And um, you can see this green right here and then how you can actually delete it and uh, add it. So basically the green is what Photoshop copies from. So basically whatever is green, that's what it takes from. And then it tried to replicate it where you wanna remove the object. And basically, so I don't want to use the trees, I don't want to use the house, I don't want to use the grass. So that's what it looks like, see? It's all clean. Just doing a few clicks and then you're done. You removed your object. Okay, so now let's go to the medium method. The medium method is actually pretty easy as well. However, you have to plan for it. Let's say you're in a really public place and then you're trying to shoot that specific object in that picture. Let's say it's a building or something like that. You set up your camera and then you take the picture and then it's filled with people because it's a public space and it's a busy area. So what you can do is take as many pictures as possible and then Photoshop will remove it for you automatically. So this is exactly what I'm gonna do at the park today. I'm gonna go to a busy spot. I'm gonna stay away because social distancing. And then I'm gonna try to shoot as many pictures as possible and see what I can do with it. And so I just found this bench and I set up my camera right here to take a picture of this street. Currently, this street is empty. However, it wasn't empty too long ago. So I shot a bunch of pictures on a tripod. So you have to make sure you shoot it on a tripod because the camera cannot move. So it has to be stationary and it has to be in the same position. So when you do that and then you put all the pictures together, Photoshop can actually remove everything that's moving around. So it'll be pretty easy to remove it. So let's show you this method right now. The second method is pretty much just as easy. The long part of it is taking the images beforehand. So you have to start off by clicking on file, then going down to scripts and clicking on statistics. After that, you select all the images you need and click the align button and then click OK. And then you have to wait for it to process. So for me, it's going to process for a while because I have raw images. After it's all processed, you're going to get a clean image with no people around. However, as you can see, the trees are blurry for me. So what you have to do to restore those trees is double click on the file you made and then go on the crop tool and then select an image with the tree still and sharp and then copy it and then paste it onto a layer. And then and after you do that, the picture will automatically look perfect. After doing that, I'm going to group the layers together and go to filter at the top and select raw camera filter and then edit my image there. And then for me, I'm just gonna make it more vibrant because it's very dull right now. And then this is the end result. Okay, so it's getting dark right now, so I'm gonna be heading home. So whilst walking home, I'm actually gonna tell you about the third method. And the third method is actually the hardest one. However, it's very possible and it's very easy if you just know how to use Photoshop. So I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that. What you have to do is create a clean play out of that image. So if you have a model in the foreground, you actually have to remove that model and then place the model back on the background image. You have to use bits and pieces in the image to create a whole clean plate and then paste your foreground image, which is your model or whatever you want, 
back into the picture. So let's start with this method now. I know it's gonna be hard, but it's possible and you guys can do it. Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is create three duplicates of our image and call the first one model, second one background, and the last one original. Select the model photo entirely in the model layer. After we select everything and we don't leave out any part of the model, we need to go to the bottom and click on mask, which is gonna create a mask for our layer. So now we have a layer with just the model in it, with no background. After that, we're going to click on visibility and we're going to turn off this layer of the model so we can actually see the background. Then what we're going to do is work on the background layer. So to work on the background layer, we have to go on the mask layer in the layer above of the model and then press control and left click on the mask and then normal left click on the background layer. And then we're going to go to the top. We're going to go on select the modify expand and then try to expand it by five pixels, then press OK. After that, we're gonna press Shift and Backspace and it's gonna come up with a menu. And when the menu comes up, don't change any of the settings, just press OK to get rid of it. When the menu disappears, you're gonna see your model disappears as well. And your background will be clean with no foreground model. But don't worry if it looks bad, we're gonna fix that later on. Now let's work on getting rid of the people in the background. To get rid of the people in the background, first thing we're gonna be doing is taking bits and pieces from around the image that are clean spots and we're gonna use them to stitch them around and then we're gonna make the people in the background disappear. We're gonna go on the background layer. We're gonna select a random spot that is clean. And then we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it on a new layer. So we only have that bit. And we go on this new layer and then we click on Control T so we can move it around. When we can move it around, we can place it somewhere. So let's place it over the first cameraman. After we placed it, it's not gonna fit. So we have to actually move it around. So we're gonna press Alt and click, and then we're just gonna move it around until it somehow fits into the space. After we make it fit, I'm actually gonna be using the erase tool. I'm gonna put it on zero hardness, and I'm gonna make it quite big. And I'm gonna go around the edges, and I'm just gonna erase them just to make it blend better. So I'm gonna be doing that until you can't see any of the cameraman. Okay, so what's left now is Con's head. I actually can't get rid of it. So we're gonna to have to use a different method. So we're gonna go back onto the background layer and I'm actually gonna use the stamp tool and then go slowly and use different parts of the image just like before and then getting rid of his head. After we're done with that, we're gonna take all the layers and then put them into one group. So now we have a clean plate. Don't worry if there's parts that are still not clean because the model is gonna actually cover them. So we're only focused on the parts that are visible and the model is not covered. Now, after we're all finished, we're gonna click on the model photo and we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna turn on the visibility. And now we have just the model alone. And this is how you create a clean plate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love making it for you. I love making all those like cleanup videos and stuff like that. And I actually have something for you guys. If you guys wanna see me do cleanup in a video, watch this. So I'm actually a compositor, 2D compositor, and I can clean up stuff in videos, basically. I can remove people, I can remove stuff in videos. So if you guys want a tutorial on that, I can make one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.